everybody. Alright. Now part one and part two are non-commentary, so part three is going to have commentary, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to continue it. Part one and two are don't, aren't not, aren't doing so well, but hopefully we can get more. Course not. I have only got myself to blame for the mess these kids are in. You are either drunk or you're staring miserably at the clouds or you're out there doing God only knows what. Oh yeah, I done horrible by you. Pulled you out of a Midwestern trailer park, got you a big mansion in Rockford Hills. Hell, the only thing you gotta worry about anymore is what part of your body you want to have chopped off or sucked out again? Screw you, Michael. Ah, but you won't. I was faithful to you up until I found you in a stripper. <laughs> I would divorce your ass if I could. You are nothing but a murdering, cheating hypocrite. Thank you, Michael, whatever the fuck our fake last name is. You have ruined my serenity yet again. My yoga is fucked. Oh, is that what they're calling it now? You and your fucking yoga. Did someone say yoga? Oh, hello, Fabian, darling. Namaste. Namaste. You must be Mikhail. Namaste. Hmm. Nah, Michael, go fuck yourself. Michael! You've got to work <laughs> on your anger, brother. It's killing you. Yeah, hey, tell me about it. Ah! There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Ah, 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 ah. No. Very funny. You know, you're a real asshole. What did you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. Mm, yeah, I bet it is. Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. Ain't this grand, hmm? Yeah, well, I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in the big mansion. Awkward situations. It's one way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. It was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. Nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used <laughs> to be thinner. But, yeah, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? Namaste. I'm Fabian. Uh, good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, sh she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? 
Yeah, we. What, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! All right. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. I'm making it. The blender slips, juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag. Jimmy's, right? Okay. Just that moment, Amanda comes in, sees me there with... I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend... I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for kale, and it's magical powers to have any effect on me. <laughs> to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga, or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude. You do not let the fuck up. I got no, he doesn't. <laughs> worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fuck. Fine, fine. Do what the fuck you want. Want? Well, hmm, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? What? What do you come here looking for? I came looking. For you and I found you yes you did I know who you are Michael Townley you're in a new place with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits but you're still my running buddy you can't undo that yeah 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 sure okay whatever come on come on come on these spaces are reserved for production vehicles Come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man, he's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that. Where the fuck's Laszlo? <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really... All right. It's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> all right. Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like oh. a, a basket full of puppies, or a <laughs> rainbow, or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Uh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you uh, doing here? Okay, I'm back. Relax, chill, make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta! <coughs> Music! <coughs> ah! Yeah. Shake what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! <laughs> fucking do something about this? All right, that's enough. Oh, oh, I said that's enough! Hey, 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 I got security! Security! What'd you fucking Hold say? Come on, big guy! Come on! No. Come on! No. 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 Come here, you little shit! No. Go home! 
Right now, Tracy! I just want to talk to you. Ooh. Ah, they towed us. We gotta take the truck. Let's get in the truck, Michael. Hey, hey! This is gonna be fun. My rig. <laughs> Let's get that trick. Look, he went left. How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise the daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Now, thanks for the fucking feedback. It means a lot coming from you. We're gonna flatten this toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Fucking last one. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road. It's only a battery car. Come on. This ain't exactly a race. Out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now, I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, huh? Uh, I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Uh, you proved your point. Uh, this is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head. And you! Huh? Pants off. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, I'm all right. What are you doing? Now, I want you to dance sexy, celebrité. Mm -hmm. I mean, I need music or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come on. Oh, oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please, come on, no. get off. No. Take off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. <sighs> Damn. 
Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. So yeah, it'd be kind of cool for GTA 6 if Lazo's involved again, even if it's just the radio. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. No, come on, man, I just got that bike! Somebody stop that guy! Shit! What did he say? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Not this spot.
having for dinner? Lucky, buddy. Hey, bud, hey, how's it going? Right? Did hey, you buddy. see last night's episode? Hey, Brian, what's up? We were online all night. Man, you have got to send me out on more stuff, Brian. Davey, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if, no, when? He starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. Uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... 
Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well, and we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. Nope. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You want to cut it in the coroner's office, you're going to have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man you could fit into a sandwich bag. Bodies that are more maggots than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd ah! oh, Jesus. Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker. Ah! Ah! Come out! Hands in the air! Come on. Might be in the other room. Might be. Surrender yourself! Out! Now! That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Can't do that. Let's go. Trust me, I'm not interested in the truth. Oh, my God. Carry on with your business.
Containment! 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 It's all a big misunderstanding! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Damn truck. Traffic's gotta be this bad on purpose, doesn't it? That was weird. Hey, Mike. Yeah. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, Elboro Heights. And make sure you're not tail. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Hey, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. 
Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Here Thanks, comes the truth. Right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit. Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. <coughs> and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look. I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin. You'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know... Try to play both sides, you know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. 
It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. Kind of froze there for a second. I was like, what the fuck? At least it allowed me to skip it. Jesus. Alright, I just want... Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Remember after that boat thing? Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! If the 99% don't get Sending off their ass, we'll all be fucked. Footwear is anti -capitalism. Yep. Welcome. We use clay needles, mostly. That's a good one. That's art right there. Right on, enjoy that. Yep. Looks good. Come see us it's again. So hard juggling all the modeling. Your body is a canvas. Fix them up. Oh, please. That's a masterpiece. I'm good. Can't go wrong with that. Hope you like that. I'm using this money for drugs. Thanks. I need the cash. Later.
What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes. She's very centered. A regular you oasis what I of live peace with? and tranquility, A girl this with one. Anger issues and worse friends. No you... wonder I'm so upset. You too. Please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Come, come, Miguel, come. Awesome. <laughs> oh, awesome. If you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? <laughs> Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Uh, now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each <coughs> Katasana. Yes. Or mountain pose. All right. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus. Perfectly. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. Okay. Now, Michael. I don't know about this. In and out with the breath, Michael. Out through those wrinkled lips. It moves. Amazing! Now, in through the bloated nose and out through those wrinkled lips. Strength, Michael! In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Out through the mouth. It's like watching one of my kids take their first steps. Only an old version I resent. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. You feel that? The emotion inside. Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. Breathe, Mikkel. Breathe out, please. Now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. There. There it is. The silly man forgets to breathe. Out with the breath. There. Let it go. Now, you breathe. You feel that? Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, Sheldon, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything is flowing in me. Oh. 
Mike, would you? Your core is very weak, Mikhail. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? The backward eye between your thigh. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out. You're turning red. Now if you could just get Trevor on a yoga mat. Take in the air and release it. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Your lungs, they work, yes? Out through the mouth. Hold the anus. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Look at the concentration on his face. It's like a gorilla with a cell phone. Breathe, please, Michael. Let it out. You're sweaty, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Take in the air and release it. Your inner eye. <sighs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward though. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikael. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there. Oh, 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 oh! What? Hey, enough of that! Shit. Ah. Ah. Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that bony French fucking yogi. Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James, leave me alone. Oh yeah, fuck. It's nice TV. I'm talking in your ear, soldier. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? Right, come on, I want to go for a ride. I gotta meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on, this is fucking bullshit. Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies. They're the only people you speak to. Where's your friend? Burger shot? Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it! I knew it! The mask was gonna slip! The monster's been exposed! The hell are you talking about? The real you! That bitter, vindictive old man! You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim! How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly. Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? Oh, now you're an armchair psychologist. Just like the rest of the city. You brought me here, Michael. Don't get surprised when some of the razzle-dazzle rubs off. Well, I thought you'd keep your head. You know, see through some of the bullshit. Maybe that's what I'm trying to do. If you think you're walking around a town full of idiots with your Midwestern picket fence values, then you're probably the biggest idiot here. Wake up. Oh, what did I bring into this world? Oh, 
You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. There he is, the friendly neighborhood drug dealer. <coughs> Yo, bro, man. What's, man? Up? What's, What's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? <laughs> ah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. What the fuck? Jimmy. Just just hold on a second. Yo, dude! Oh, all right. All right, later on. Careful man. with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. Did you ever notice that the drug trade all righty, out? then. Oh, now what? Really Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between the white lines, friend to the pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. <laughs> okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little woozy. Hey, You're fine. No. Really, this is not Chill normal. Out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified <laughs> concern. You should see yourself. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? Stop moaning and drive back. No. Oh, stop it. Oh, who was in that? It's harmless. Vets have been using it for decades. What? You anesthetized me? You fucking shit. i you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? Right? You're too crazy, Dad. Get <laughs>
pretty tricky for Jimmy to do. Uh oh. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who is a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amanda. Fuck! That sucks.
F I B. Okay, we're back. My party decided to turn itself off. Hey, Michael. David. I don't know if you guys were able to still hear oh, me or not, nice. but well, tell me we were double dating. It's back Sorry, on guys. again, so this just in case. Love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant. Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, <laughs> duh. I love it. I, I, I got to remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andreas, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. I should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our, uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war. Special with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. <coughs> Is that just the three of you? <coughs> or, the <greater> FIB? <coughs> or the entire government? <coughs> I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. <coughs> And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S. Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Hello? Tell me, Davey, you expensed this ride to the taxpayer? Hi! What's up? I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. You're totally following me! Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling them I'm all cozy with the FIB. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be 
when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Right area, knew that. It's going the wrong direction. Keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you. Hey, T, <laughs> enough with the faux political bullshit. Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of... Uh, son I never had. Bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us bring Brad, right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later, all right? I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. <sighs> All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters. We're downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. But sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide back. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at Suicide Pack. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position, I'll drop.
Oh, I hate doing this. Your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I stop. Cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Ah! You think you're impenetrable? Oh, oh, oh. See how you feel with this? Is 18 inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock it. The room. world thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Jackie, yeah, you need a little backup here. Get me the safe chick! 36 flow. I've got you. Hey, it's my value. You prejudice. He's got the support. Slow down! Hey, Hold on! Room's clear, G! Hit the witch! Get us out! This is unacceptable! No! We got the sniper in Jason's building! Don't let those drop it! Don't let those drop it! Hey! Why are we just hanging here? Hey! Dooley! I'm not leaving here till you shoot those guys! So get moving on it! That's it! Get us out of here! Roger this! Whoa. Looks like we were trying to pay attention to their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! Shit!
Put her down in the lot, Trevor. more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, huh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. The FIB Townley? Why does it not surprise me? Wow, what is like a fucking Morgan? <laughs> 
Trevor, Trevor is a... Trevor is a what? Trevor is a good guy. He cried family and got kid hanging from a that, 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 That's it, right, yes, Trevor. <laughs> but, but the thing is, um, I ain't been with that many women. I don't find it easy. And, um, and Deborah, I mean, we're getting married, so... Oh, that's beautiful. But I'm scared that she's gonna leave me. I mean, this is her place, and the fornicating? There's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Whoa. Whoa! Now, Mr. Raspberry Jam, he died a noble death, bringing great joy to a lonely man. I ain't got a very big penis. Some girls laugh when they, when they look at it. Well, show me. Show me, boy! I, 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 I don't want to. Mine ain't nothing special, but this boy gets the job done. All right? Now, Wade here says that you work at the docks. Uh, yes. Look at me! Can you just put your Johnson away, sir? Oh, Jesus. Yes, I work at the docks. And? Anything uh, interesting there for a man like me? Well, I mean, I, I, I don't rightly, rightly know. What kind of person are you? Oh, I'm that kind of person, Floyd. I am that kind of person. <coughs> now, let's get you, Wade, and that little tormentor down there to put these on. We are going for a ride. Gentlemen, the gateway to America awaits. Run. We got an inside man at the port of LS. I'm gonna send you some information. I need you on point to help plan things. I got it, T. I really miss it. Said, I don't rightly know what we got. You're going to have to be more exact in your questioning, sir. Uh, looking we're looking for something to steal. Sir, I stole a pencil in elementary school, and I've been regretting it ever since. Boy, I got always work a stick in the mud. Look, sir, please, just tell me what you want, and I'll do my utmost to assist you in finding it. Here's the problem. I don't know what I want. It's a bit, well, like pornography or a perfect turd. I can't quite describe it, but I'll know it when I see it. You ain't aiding my comprehension. All right, all right. Well, how's this? $236 billion worth of cargo came through the port of Los Santos last year. He's real good with numbers. I don't want to hijack a truck full of pineapples, Floyd. You need to give us the inside track on what's coming through. We don't know what's in the containers. They certainly don't put price tags on them. Have you noticed anything? Anything different? Anything that might indicate something? Well... There's been all these, uh, Merryweather folks hanging around. Merryweather Security Consulting. Private army to the New World Order. My butt's gone, The man. folks waging outsourced shadow wars in 20 countries around the globe and recently cleared to operate on U.S. soil? That, um, sounds like them. So there's a private militia in the port. What are they guarding? This one freighter? I guess now that you mention it, it ain't quite right. A freighter? Perfect. Can I get on board? No, no. Uh, they won't let you anywhere near it. They're kind of assholes about it, actually. The other day, my colleague, Ralph... I don't give a shit about Ralph. We gotta take a look. Is there anything else? There's another bunch of Merryweather guys out by the Navy warehouse. And they got boats coming in and out. I heard they was testing something. All right. We'll take a look at that as well.
These bridges. They the only way out the port? Yeah. Once you're off them, you're straight on the highway. A truck can come here, load up, and get on the blacktop, keep on going till he runs out of gas. Real poetic. What happens if an alarm's trip? The National Office of Security Enforcement monitor the whole area. If something goes off in Port City, every road round here gets shut down. No way anybody could come in or out. Go in the wrong direction. I mean, it's kind of hard to figure her out sometimes. It again, how? Go park and get the dispatch. No, yep, will do. <laughs> Go park and get the dispatch. Come on, shift's about to start. So here comes the suit. Right I gotta check in. Remember, Floyd, this can go real wrong real quick. It don't matter what went in his mouth. We got a waste spillage and I got a slot on the cleanup crew. There is nothing that Wade here ain't gonna do for a warm meal. Hope you got a strong stomach, son. <laughs> get in there. Screw him. Yeah, screw him. We all get that. You gonna take me to see this freighter? Yeah, it's over here. You ever get helicopters coming in and out of here? You know, those big sky crane things that could pick up a whole container? Now, this is restricted airspace. They won't let anything out of here without clearance. Shoot it down if they have to. So how's a man in a hurry supposed to get in and out of this place? Well, we got a port that stretched to 50 feet. Now, what's the Coast Guard response like? Well, they got cutters, 45-foot response vessels, air support. You're not gonna move much faster than them, especially if you're carrying something. Maybe I'll have to saddle you up and ride you across the Miriam Turner overpass. I just said they had the water surface real covered. Okay. The that is the freighter I told you about. What do you think they got on it? We just stevedore them. We ain't meant to know what's in the containers. But? But these are marked military. Government. Anything weird about that? The government stuff is hot freight. Pulls up, goes right through. This stuff's just been sitting here. You are beginning to arouse my... Curiosity. Merryweather guys at two o'clock. They're giving Forrest a hard time, all right. You! You! We need two guys on the handler. A couple of containers and baby gotta be brought up to F. That ain't a question. Get on it. Now! Up here, okay? How about I run that prick over in this thing? I thought you wanted to scope the place. 
we don't get the containers, they're gonna check your card. Oh, I'm getting nervous. You're always nervous. Relax. Not always, sir. Just around you. And it's just uh, Cousin Wade's on his own. He better hold it together. Stick to the story. He'll be fine. Boy's on a waste clearance crew. He's never happier when he's neck deep in shit. I'm gonna lose my job. Those are the containers in Bay B. Hook it up! That's it. Now we gotta bring it over to Bay F. I know why they call them handlers. Because they handle like a dream. This ain't a toy, sir. It's heavy machinery. Thank fuck I'm high as a kite. You should not be operating this vehicle while under the influence. I'll operate you under the influence if you're not careful. You happy? Now I'll get the other one for you. Me, anyway. I'm gonna need a better view of that freighter. I'm sorry, but this is as close as you going to get. No, no, no. I need to take some pictures. Send them to my guy, Ron. I'll need a proper view. There's the cranes, but... Cranes! Perfect! Oh, shoot! And attach it! Hey, whose dick you have to suck to get this job? Being a stevedore used to be back-breaking work. Now you're paid brain surgeon bucks to push an oversized shopping cart. I did not fellatiate no one to get this job. Deborah's old friends with the... Well, with the... With the... With the say no more! You didn't fellate no one, but darling Debbie probably did. She probably enjoyed it. Okay, it's up to the top of the crane for me. Time to admire the view. I've been waiting on a crane driver nearly an hour. I'm not permitted to drive cranes, buddy. Hey, you need me to get your union rep up here right now? Sooner you get in the cab, sooner we can get out of here. This is on you. Come up onto this catwalk, then go down the ladder and into the cabin. All right, I'm here. What do I do? First, you gotta line up the cabin over the container. The lights on the bottom of the spreader will help you position it. That's it. You're in position. It's hooked up, so lift it high enough to clear that container stack and move it to the other end. Take us to the other end, bay number five. All the way to the end! There's the truck. Set it down gentle. You want to line it up with the frame of the truck. The truck is clear to go. 
and you said you wasn't qualified. Go back up to the other end and start again. Take us back up to the other end! Get in position over the second container in Bay 1. You're done. Break time. How about this view, huh? I'm gonna take some photos for the kids. Trevor, you want to see that warehouse? Come on! We can use the big rig. It's on the other side of Port City. So they've been guarding one of them dry docks. We can take a look at it, but no one's allowed around there. Normal rules don't apply to us, Floyd. We're going in. I don't know. The rules applied to me my whole life. I like rules. And look at you. You're a failure. You're in a loveless relationship. What do you mean? Loveless? I love Deborah. If she loved you, she'd be here, wouldn't she? But she's not. Uh, you know I'm insecure. You've got a dead-end job. What? Dead end? Uh, no! Floyd, it's dead end. Being a unionized longshoreman's uh, one of the best paying jobs in the country. You tell people around La Puerta that's what you do, they're liable to rob you. They're so jealous. No one's jealous of you, Floyd. They pity you. You're abused by that woman. You're abused by these slave drivers. I mean, I've never worked so hard in my life. It ain't so bad. Uh, I've been doing this every day for ten years. Only usually with less of the criminality. You're wasting your life, Floyd. It's lucky we turned up when we did. I'm saving you from yourself. We ain't heard from Wade. What are you, his mother? He's fine. The spillage shouldn't take this long to contain. There must be a lot of it. Good. Keep him busy while we get to work.
Okay. Restricted access. No entiendo. No understand you. Huh? Manifesto. <laughs> Manifesto say deliver here. Mm. Hey, stop. Where the fuck you think you're going? Back up. Back up. Back up. must have got confused. Uh, the guy don't speak English. Uh, you must have read the manifesto. manifesto. He yes, said, he said, no, here. Trevor, these photos, you've really stumbled onto something. The ship, Meriwether... Yeah, 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 I know. Tell me about the ship. If we put a man with a gun on the bridge next to it, and get a guy on board, I think we got a good chance of taking over. Way it looks to me, there's a container below deck. They're guarding it for the government, keeping it off the books. Serious military technology, most like. Yeah. Of course. I just found a manifest. They're testing something out at sea. It's gotta be that. Now, get back to work. The TPI conglomerate ain't thriving. There's only one man responsible. Of course, yeah. But I'll start pulling all the intel I can get on Meriwether at the same time. I, I got a file here somewhere.
in the name of all things holy. I, I, I tried to stop it, but it just kept coming and coming. <laughs> there, there, Wade. Look, look, look. Not, Betty, you're just not cut out for honest work, all right? <laughs> Did you get what you needed? Yeah, 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 more or less. Yeah, I just got to uh, figure out a place to plan this now. All right, this will do. That woman ain't even fine. Ain't no one understands why Floyd lets her use him so. Oh, that's uh, low self-esteem, Wade. We got to build him back up. Now. Mm -hmm. And there, perfect. All right, so based on my observations, I'd say these Meriwether security cocksnots are sitting on something real valuable. I think they got two of these things, but we only need one. First one is on that freighter in a container below deck. They got guards all over that ship, so it's likely they're keeping it on ice. The air, land, and sea routes into the port will be locked down as soon as we make a noise at these X's here. Which means we have to blow up the ship and grab the thing underwater. Need a guy to plant the bombs, a guy to look out for him with a rifle, and a guy to grab the thing, whatever it is, underwater. That means stealing us a submarine, of course, but you can find us one of them, can't you? Huh? Now, the other one is off the coast being tested. They're running the operation from the dock where I last saw your cousin. We'll need a submarine for that, too, and probably a chopper, a big one. We go out there, look around underwater, locate it, bring it back here, and find out what it is. Here? To the Congo? Aye, so, what do you think? Container ship or whatever's offshore? Let's see. Let's do the freighter. It's gotta be the container, right? You and Floyd can help, and we'll bring along Michael and his unpaid intern. Okay, all right. What is that smell? Oh, we are going straight to the local union rep. Wade here was injured in the performance of his duties. Human waste has seeped into his very pores, and I am sorry to say this, but I don't think he's ever going to smell normal again. <laughs> you can't go to the union. You are union, all right, and you vouched for us, all right? You look at him, man. Smell him. No. Smell him. Uh, Trevor, Trevor, uh, you're, you're planning a robbery on my place of work. You violated Mr. Raspberry Jam, and God alone knows what else. You damaged Deborah. Look, my lady and my union, that's all I got. So why don't we just, uh, why don't we just let this all slide, huh? If you're comfortable with what's happened to your cousin, then so be it, all right? But I would give him a bath and rinse him off. No! No bag! <laughs> it's like... Choking to my skin, ain't it? Ah, Trevor. Hey. Mikey, hey, listen. Loving it here in LS. Really settling in. Getting my first enema tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I heard about some action. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay. Oh, you bet it's okay. <laughs> Listen, I gotta do a little prep work, but so far it's looking pretty tasty. I'll need you to bring along that kid you've been hanging with. Franklin. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. 
Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend. All right, so we're going to stop right there for now, and uh, we'll pick up in a few. Bye-bye.